Today, we're going to be taking our dogs on their favorite walk. But first, I need to take Kobe to the vet. More on that later. Me and Moki are going to begin our adventure. The plan is, we're going to surprise the dogs. JJ is going to follow us after the vets and the dogs will reunite on the walk. So Kobe needed a trip to the vet. He hasn't been feeling well over the past couple of days, so we just wanted to make sure he's fit and healthy for this walk. <laughs> Sadly, Kobe actually has to make quite a few trips to the vets. He's allergic to almost everything, and sometimes his allergies really flare up and get pretty bad. He hasn't been acting like himself lately. We can usually tell when something is wrong with him because he hides under our table when he's feeling down in the dumps. I know that sounds a bit weird, but he hides there because he must feel irritated and just wants to be alone. The vet had a check over his allergies, they looked like they were starting to get bad again, so he has an allergy shot once a month to try and help control it. Kobe also had a full gland, another thing that goes wrong with him every month, so that was cleared. And lastly, he had an ear infection. Poor boy, no wonder he was hiding under the table, he must have felt so uncomfortable. The vet said the ear infection was also due to his allergies, so this was cleaned up by the vet. Kobe seemed much happier in himself, which puts our minds at ease. And it's now time for him to go meet up with Moki and Ella. So we're on the way to go and meet Moki and Ella. I can't wait to see their reaction when they meet up. I wonder how Moki's getting on. We're just waiting to meet Kobe. I hope everything's going okay at the vets. Moki is feeling a little bit lost. So I'm thinking to cheer you up while we wait for Kobe. Should we play a game? What do you think? We're going to play hide and seek. I'm going to distract her with this because she also loves playing fetch. We're going to try this. Okay. I'm rubbish. I'm rubbish. <laughs> I'm tired. Should we carry on the walk? Come on. Let's go. Usually Kobe is here. He loves going through all the forest, and this is just a small section of it. That's Kobe. Hey, hey. Go. She ain't listening to me. It's been really nice having some mum and daughter time, but we are so excited to see Kobe and JJ. Speaking of the devil, I wonder where they are. Ah, I feel like my ears are burning a bit. Hmm. Anyway, we're here, Kobe. All right, we're here. And now it's time to go and find Miss Moki and Ella. Come on, come on. I wear the dog lead around my neck because I don't know it. It makes me look a bit more like a professional dog walker. All right, Kobe, so obviously you've got no idea that Moki's here, even though he's got this amazing sense of smell, so he can probably smell her when we get closer. But there is one little trick that I do that puts Kobe on high alert. So let's see how this goes. <gasps> where's Moki? <gasps> Kobe, <gasps> where's Moki? Come on, should we go find her? She's not in the bush. Should we go find her? Let's go find your sister. Come on then. So unusual turn of events. We have found some horses. Kobe, you love horses, don't you? Be good now. Good boy. Have you got anything to say, Mr. Horse? Okay. Can I pet you? Oh my God. Yeah, horses scare me a bit. Well done, Kobe. <laughs> All right, let's go find your sister. Come on. Come on. Come on, Kobe, come. Come, 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 come. Come on, Kobe, come, come, come. 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 Come on, Kobe. Come on. Oh my God, the horse is running with me. Come on, boy. <sighs> oh, good boy. Good poo-poos. Good boy. Well done, Kobes. So at this point, I'm really surprised that Kobe hasn't picked up on their scent. But to be fair, I'm not actually sure how far away they are. Ah. You see, sometimes the amazing thing about dog walks is coming to a view like this. Peace and quiet, apart from that plain noise that we can hear. But as nice and relaxing as this is, we've got a mission. And that mission is to find Moki. Let's go. We've got to go find her. We were determined to find Moki and Ella. 
And then I remembered, Kobe's been coming here for years actually, and there's this house that we're about to go to next. I don't know why I'm sitting down in the dirt. And at this house is a cat, and a cat that Kobe used to be best friends with. We go on this walk quite a lot, and we haven't actually seen the cat for a while, but it hasn't stopped Kobe doing this. Where's the cat, Kobe? Where is it, huh? Where's the cat? Yeah, I don't think the cat's here today. Anyways, we searched far and wide for Mo Chianella because we knew we had to complete our mission. Nah, I'm only joking. We had a meetup point. <gasps> Can you smell something, boy? Oh, he's picked up on something. He's noticed her. He's spotted her. He spotted the dogs. Hello! <laughs> Okay, so we've been reunited, but the fun doesn't stop there. This is the plan. We're gonna go to the woods where Kobe and Moki absolutely love it there. They go crazy. And then the best bit is after that, we're gonna go to their favorite river where they're gonna be able to swim and well, basically just go crazy. Ready dogs? Let's do it, come on in. We've crossed our first obstacle, this bridge. For whatever reason, this dog is absolutely terrified of the bridge. <laughs> Look at her face. So let's see how she does. Come on, dogs, come on. <laughs> it's okay, good girl. So to get to their favorite forest, we have to get past this crazy sludge field. This may look easy for the dogs, but it was literally like quicksand for us. You can see with every step, we sank into the sludge. I thought I was gonna lose my shoe at one point. Oh, it's just got in my shoe. You can hear your shoe getting stuck. Where are you going? I can't do that. Where are you going? I've done it. Ow! After this, we're gonna be at the forest. We made it to the woods. Let's... You know, sometimes there's nothing better than a nature walk with the dogs. Fresh air, time away from technology and stress. Kobe and Moki give us an excuse to go to these amazing places. Speaking of amazing places, we have one more stop on this walk and the dogs are gonna go crazy. But just before we get there, a quick word from our sponsor today, Bully Billows. Moki's been wearing these Bully Billow combat collars since she was eight weeks old, mainly because they're sturdy, thick, and perfect for all breeds, big and small. They actually come in 14 different colours and they're pretty easy to wash. We just chuck ours in the washing machine and they come out like new. The best part for us is there's a handle attached to the collar which brings huge peace of mind for in case of emergency or when we're out on off-leash walks just like today. We made it to the water. Yeah, just... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this, click here. YouTube thinks this video will be really good for you and I'll see you there.